This is the Kindle Scribe, and PDFs are actually pretty extensive, and this can do a lot of things. In order to get PDFs on this, you can do it one of two ways. You can utilize the USB cable and sideload in PDFs, or you can use Send to Kindle. You must be aware that if you sideload in PDFs, you cannot draw on them. Here's the first example. If we go to the side-loaded PDF right here, you will get these settings as you see it. You get all the fonts up top, you get all of the top bar, and you get layout, margins, contrast, and highlight menu. If you go to more, you can turn on or off page turn animations. That's it. You cannot bring up the palette on the side, and this is the PDF that we use as a absolute standard on all devices. You can do highlights and notes, but when you go notes, you can't draw on it. Everything you do with the pen is just going to be the same as your finger. It's going to treat it as capacitive. Now, if you go back to the home and you now open the PDF that we used, send to Kindle, same PDF, transferred in a different way, we now have the palette. And now we can draw, and now we can edit, and now we can make notes with the pen. When you do have the PDF finally on your unit, you do get pinch and zoom, you get all that fun stuff, but now you get the ability to actually use the pen as a highlighter. You can highlight certain bodies of text. You can go over here and you can utilize different pens, different pressure sensitivities, you can use the eraser tool, you can do undo, you can move the ledger around. So you get all of those additional palette settings. You do still get the same bar up top, but this palette will be missing. Now something else the scribe can do that a lot of people don't know is it actually is fully capable with interactable PDFs. So for example, we are on this PDF which is the Fujitsu scheduler. You can actually tap the elements around the screen and it utilizes it much like you would on your PC. This is just a side loaded in PDF through Send to Kindle. I can mark it up and I can use the tabs. Not only can I choose the dates, I can go into each individual day. So the 14th, for example, and I can say I have a meeting on the 14th and then I can go back to my overview. This is really cool because a lot of devices can't handle PDFs with the interactable elements and you still get the ledger on the side. So I can get my highlighter and highlight out that. I can get that all boxed up like that. The only downside with the Amazon Kindle Scribe is that you don't actually have any ability to make any squares, any shapes, insert photos. So you are missing a lot of the fundamental PDF kind of text augmentation. If I wanted to make a perfect square, I can't. I'd have to do it myself like that. So you're missing a lot of these very simple things on the side and some tertiary features as well, like insert text or even translate text, handwritten text to regular reform. So there's a lot of things that's actually missing. And I, I think they missed the boat a little bit on that by giving you such a simplistic palette. And because other devices that aren't scribes don't have the ability to view your handwritten notes, you're not able to actually go on a Paperwhite or a Basic or even the Kindle app and see your handwritten notes. So unfortunately, that's not something you can do. But the beauty about this is that once you do make your notes, you can go up here and you can send this to email and once you send it to email you can actually send it to any email you want and that recipient will get exactly what you have written so if you receive a document and you need to sign the bottom like that you can instantly send it over to them and away it goes so if someone needs to sign an NDA you can send it to them they can send it back and then you can send it into your respective recipient so there's a lot of neat features it does have and it is the easiest to actually send documents without any sort of login you don't need to set up email protocols or or servers or anything like that you just simply use it as is but the biggest takeaway of this is you must use send to kindle if you do not use send to kindle you will not be able to edit your pdfs this is everything you need to know about pdfs on the kindle scribe